Good morning, everybody. Thank you, first of all, for joining us today. This is the latest edition of our webinar, webinar series, and today's topic, as I'm sure you know, is retail and restaurant service industry solutions for the next normal. My name, my name is Sadie Whiting. I've been working with LabelWorks and Navator for about 17 years now. I'll be joined today by three of our top print experts, Tim Klein, Adam Christensen, and Mark Kral, who will be sharing some industry knowledge as well as their product expertise with all of you. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and let you know we're gonna be putting you all on mute to avoid background noise. But if you do have a question, we'd love to hear from you. So please use the chat function to share that with us. And we'll be monitoring the feed and watching for them as we go along. Also, as uh, Stephanie just mentioned, this webinar is being recorded. So it'll be available to view after the, the session today. So in today's session, we'll be focusing on the retail and restaurant industries and kind of like we've just been talking about in the last couple minutes here, the challenges that they're facing and providing actionable real world solutions that we're working through with distributors to help manage the many changes that they're experiencing. So we have three main priorities that we're going to be covering today. The first is safety and customers of customers and the employees. So states and cities all having their different guidelines for reopening restaurants and retails are putting measures in place to protect both the consumer as well as their employee. So these all vary dramatically, like I was just mentioning, from state to state, but can also vary even from business to business, and with some companies taking the lead and more stringent measures and require, that are required uh, in their local area. As distributors, you're in a unique position to see the local market, understand the guidance. So today we'll talk through several ideas of how to open safely through enhanced sanitizing processes, capacity limits, mask wearing, customer service. Those are just some of the top priorities and things that are all a part of a new training within these businesses. Second of all, we'll also talk about communication, getting the word out. So the messages were open, but really they want to let people know they're open safely as a top message in the industry that they want their customers to hear. So it's a top priority that this message is out there, but in addition that the procedures themselves are out there as well as being displayed and communicated well. Thirdly, we will talk about consumer confidence. It's vital that consumers are reassured that their dining or shopping experience is safe, that in these high touch, higher risk exposure industries, everything is covered and safe. Businesses who not only take the steps of minimizing risk, but also communicate these procedures are seeing more growth and consumer confidence is key. If you haven't already, I would strongly encourage you to visit the CDC website. It's a valuable source of information and offers tools and prediction models that can really help you assess the needs in your local area. Having that knowledge and that forethought of the situation is an important quality to have when you're discussing these with your customers. So we're gonna begin this session looking at, first of all, the retail industry, then we'll move into restaurants, followed by a variety of online tools and sales resources that are available to you. To kick us off and talk about the needs in retail, I'm gonna turn this over to Adam Christensen, who is a senior folders and packaging sales representative and consultant with our Navator team. Adam, take it away. Thanks, Sadie. Um, obviously with uh, the country reopening, a lot of the re retail stores are starting to reopen. So we want to go through um, some products and ideas that we want to give to our distributors to pass along to their customers. Um, obviously, retail stores want to first and foremost um, show that they're um, caring for their customers and their employees. So they want to make sure that they're passing along uh, employee training for safety guidelines and also just showing the um, marketing materials and displays uh, to their customers um, for safety reasons so no one gets sick from this pandemic that we've been going through. Um, as you can see in this photo, I mean, outdoor banners uh, like the now open sign is great for uh, customers, great for retail stores to uh, promote that it, hey we are open uh, we uh, just open just on open. this date or whatever it's going to be um, um, as well as the a-frame signs uh, for online mm -hmm. or for curbside pickup or just promoting, just promoting. Um, hours that they're open or any sales that they have going on um, as and soft signage like the teardrop banners that we're seeing there just to make it things a little bit more eye-popping so customers can come in um, and look for what they're wanting to um, as well as uh, window clings and large format uh, window displays 
uh, saying that we're open, new store hours, and safety guidelines that need to be followed uh, when entering the store. I'm on a code. Okay. Sometimes they'll need it. Yeah, like the, oh, it's, you know, it's still on DuckShot4 at Comcast.net and my password. Uh, the Hey, Adam. Adam, you're muted. We had some chatter going on, so I think somebody hit mute all. Oh, okay. I apologize about that. Uh, my fault. Uh, or it could be my fault. So I do apologize about that. Um, I was restating what I was actually being muted with. Um, uh, the case study that we want to go through, and this is actually going to be a lot of the products that I'll be talking about, um, is for a customer of ours that had a customer, which was a community mall that had to get 700,000 uh, square footage of area uh, covered with uh, safety guidelines, uh, social distancing guidelines, um, and then just also promoting that they're open um, and trying to get the business uh, coming to come in. Um, a lot of the stores and locations, the revenue that they were using was around five thousand to fifteen thousand uh, dollars. So a uh, great margin for our distributors to make with their customers. Um, anything from you know rest restrooms, uh, seating areas, uh, sanitized stations, uh, and then the stores themselves, just uh, get those products in uh, to promote and. Uh, show that they're going to be safe and they care about their customers and their employees when uh, opening their businesses up. Uh, banners and soft signage. Um, these are great for uh, these companies to start promoting that they're open. Uh, the durable banners, uh, they are good for outdoor and indoor use, but um, having something that's uh, large ver uh, worded or even just eye catching for the color, uh, stating that they're open and that welcome back, uh, trying to get those motivations to get their customers to come in and start earning that business back. Um, yard signs for uh, for times that they are open, uh, motivational um, phrases like we support our local businesses around the community are, are great for these uh, stores as well, um, as well as the teardrop banners um, for uh, just eye catching, you know, just bringing the business and saying we're open. Um, this is the sale that we have going on or every, anything like that, something to just actually bring that business in. These retail stores need to start seeing money start flowing so they can be successful again like they did before this pandemic started so these are great tools uh just to get the business uh start to coming in uh for the customer for their uh retail stores to bring those customers in uh, convertible signage uh a-frame signs that are used for curbside pickup pick or a or um hours that they're going to be open uh these are actually great because they can be easily changeable um with a lot of these locations everyone's has different policies and procedures they have to go by so informing your customers about what kind of local rules need to be followed um as well as they're going to be changing a lot as guidelines start getting easier and easier as the months go through. Um, so these are going to be interchanging quite a bit, uh, but they are easy to change and they are very cost effective. So it's not going to be a huge strain on their budget to um, order these on a consistent basis as guidelines change. Uh, posters, we do offer synthetic stock now, so they are easy to clean. Um, but if you need to promote that hey we're opening but here's the rules that we you have to follow you have to wear a face mask you have to stay six feet apart anything like that uh, these are great tools uh, to use for um, anything that needs to be displayed in a window uh, they can be printed one-sided or two-sided so there can be different messages for outside when the customers are coming in as well as when the customers are inside what they need to follow or what they need to know um, when they are shopping and then also window decals uh, promoting what their hours are um, obviously, their hours are going to be changing more and more uh, as the months go through. So window decals are a great way to peel off, uh, peel those off and put new store hours up. Uh, they are repositional as well. So if you need to move them somewhere, they can be done uh, very easily.
and then bringing back the business we need uh, these retail stores need to start see or start seeing revenue come in again so they can stay open um so marketing materials and folders um whether that's for the hr employee packets or just a welcome back folder with uh with their receipts or some kind of coupon that they want to pass along uh those marketing materials for brochures folders rat cards anything like that are very helpful um, advertising labels, uh, slapping a label on a bag or a box, um, kind of just getting more advertisement out there. So when the customer walks out or is walking around, um, going to their car or anything like that, they're able, uh, other customers are able to see that label and then get maybe spark an idea and walk into that store. Um, as long as postcards and other direct mail um, products that we're able to offer, uh, customer, or these companies need to start promoting that they're open again. So sending out postcards or handing out business cards or rat cards or door hangers um, are great um, great products for um, these retail stores to really promote their brand and to bring those customers back in. Customer and employee safety. Uh, this is retail stores. Uh, that's their main focus right now. They want their customers and their employees to stay safe and not get sick. So. Uh, ground stencils slash floor graphics. Uh, these have been a huge, uh, we've seen a huge uptick in these obviously with the social distancing and staying six feet apart. So we are able to use these uh, floor graphics to uh, promote brands, promote the procedure. Um, they can be customized or we do have standard templates as well. Uh, but if you want your logo to be cut out of it or just make it something simple and eye catching so customers are able to see how far they need to stay apart, those are great. Um, cloth face masks, obviously we're going to see these anywhere. Um, we don't produce these, but we um, do know that retail stores are a majority of them, depending on the rules and regulations that they have to abide by, are going to require these customers to have face masks, which is actually a great tool for the next one with the mask hooks. Um, this is something to make the a little bit more comfortable when people are wearing these masks. Uh, they can be branded and customized though. So if you want, if retail stores want to start handing these out with the face masks that they're possibly selling, um, they can be branded with the company logo or inspirational phrases or anything like to pass along uh, to their customers, just showing that they are caring and they know that the safety is a big important part for them and they don't want to be seeing anything happening to their customers or their employees. Now I'm going to pass it along to Tim Klein, who has had almost 20 years uh, in the print industry, and he will be going through the restaurant side of this webinar. Take it away, Tim. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Adam, and uh, good morning, everyone. So restaurants, um, indoor dining right now is the highest risk activity. Um, as we all know, uh, people are eager to get back out and to, to be uh, out in public dining. And so it is uh, the highest risk activity that we're seeing. Consumer confidence needs to be extremely high. So what, you know, the great thing or what a restaurant should be using signage for is to build that confidence, um, you know, to convey what their cleaning procedures are, what cleaning agents they're using, and what, you know, what are their, what they're doing during lockdown or um, off hours. Um, and again, that can include positioning of tables, and, and that, site, that sort of thing. So um, on this slide, I just wanna uh, point out a couple things. So when we talk about mobile uh, signage um, or convertible messaging, as you'll notice, a lot of the signage in here can either be changed or wiped down and, and new uh, messaging um, added. So to keep, uh, you know, as things change, policies change, um, directions, um, you know, direct people, informational uh, menus, you know, menu changes, things like that. Everything can be changed effectively, cost of, um, cost efficient, and uh, very quickly. So the A-frame in the back there on the stairs, uh, those those signs can be replaced very quickly and easily. Um, the menu boards up on the wall there that can be erased. New things can be added again very quickly and cost effectively. And then the decals on the chairs those can be pulled off and new decals can be um, added. So uh, the key is to be quick, um, effective, and give the the uh, consumer the information that that they need when they enter.
So this, ca this case study um, involves restaurants succeed who can adapt. So again, adaptation is very important right now. And again, build that, that consumer confidence that you can adapt very quickly. Um, so example, for an example here, a small restaurant chain on the East Coast looked uh, for the regional distributor for a, a multi-product solution. The client had made massive changes to ordering and needed to promote new options. Um, that would include online ordering and QR codes, curbside pickup, and traffic flow. Um, again, uh, making sure that everything is aligned with um, safety, uh, both with uh, the consumer and then um, with uh, the, the um, restaurant staff um, as well. Products include window decals for the entry, staff signs and symptoms, stay at home directions, uh, washing instructions in restroom and kitchen and kitchen stations using CDC templates directly on the Navator.com site. So this particular uh, um, opportunity brought in 3,000 3, to 15,000 per location. While on floor decals, communicate messages effectively and prominently to, uh, to customers. Let them know you are open for business and be a, uh, and a safe place to uh, gather. Uh, shape floor decals, direct traffic flow, and indicate proper distancing. Again, these are great because they can be custom sizes, custom shapes. They don't have to be just, um, you know, arrows or circles. Um, removable seat table, uh, seat slash table close messaging helps ensure compliance for capacity and distancing. Again, just directional, informational. Just remind everybody, you know, let's be safe and what we're and what the restaurant is doing to make sure to ensure that people that are um, coming in are uh, indeed safe. While decals placed in restrooms provide hand washing requirements and the latest CDC guidelines. Disposable and sanitizable. Knowing that everything is clean and, sanita and sanitary is key to your customers enjoying a com comfortable visit. Again, this goes back to that consumer confidence needs to be very high. Um, knowing that everything is clean and sanitary is key to your customers enjoying a com comfortable visit. Obviously, if they're comfortable, they'll come back. Uh, single use menus and, and placemats, let uh, guests know that these materials are replaced after each use. Washable menus and table tents with safety policies stand up to repeated cleaning with um, harsh chemicals. Labels and post-it notes can indicate how areas are cleaned and sanitized between each seating. So again, this is both for the, the customer itself and um, actually for the staff. So again, making sure that everybody uh, uh, with the restaurant, either staff or customer, knows um, what the safety policies are and um, is very in informational for everybody. Convertible messaging. So update your message as needed as the need arises, whether changing policies, menu items, or empl um, uh, employee assignments. Erasable signage used as a, as a menu board or in a central location can replace individual menus at tables. Communication boards can be used for assigning, table, for assigning tables to wait staff or posting work schedules. A-frame sandwich boards can use interchangeable sign inserts to update messages on the fly, uh, such as specials, open closed seating, or special parking areas. So the great thing about these um, offerings are, again, it's that fast, easy, quick, um, very cost effective uh, um, changes in, in information or menus or safety guidelines, policies, and, th and uh, things like that, just to keep everybody informed as things evolve uh, very quickly. So additional common areas, uh, cashier areas. So limit direct contact between employees and customers uh, using acrylic partitions, floor decals to indicate proper social distancing. We've all seen the six feet um, on the ground. Removable decals on partitions keep policies updated. Um, so the, yeah, the, the partitions don't have to be just blank. They can have uh, decals or um, maybe even posted notes on there to. Um, to give pr more proper information or policies um, for the restaurant. Kitchen and prep areas, keep employees safe and informed. Um, washable and magnetic signage can um, outline safety procedures and acrylic partitions separate close work areas. 
So again, not just the consumer, but it's very important for the, uh, the staff to remember that they need to um, keep up with certain policies as well. Restrooms, standard signage needed in all facilities, mirror decals provide hand washing reminders, Laminated CDC posters can be used on uh, stall doors and engraved plastic signs stand up to cleaners. So again, just cost effective, easy ways um, to just remind everybody that this is what uh, um, needs to be done. Uh, safety reminders and uh, policies as they are updated. So I'm going to hand it over now to Mark Kral, who um, has 14 years in the industry, and he'll be talking about online tools. All right, let's make sure that I'm unmuted. Good morning, everyone. Um, again, thank you, Tim, and thank you, Adam, for going through all of the different products. So now the big question is, okay, now what? So we've given you some ideas. We've thrown out some of the, the small portion of our portfolio of products that we offer. Again, but so the next steps are now what? So what we would like to, I'm gonna go through a demo actually on Navator.com. Hopefully many of you are uh, familiar with our site, and if not, um, I'll kind of walk through how to go ahead and place an order and how to use some of the different resources that we have available for you. So again, hopefully everybody can see um, my screen here with Navator.com up. And those of you that do have a, an account, when you log in, this should be a very familiar page. It's, it's your account page. And again, it gives you updates on any orders you may have. Um, a coupon, right now, again, we have 15% off full color standard presentation folders, F&B style. So again, um, that goes through the end of June. Um, so once we're in here, um, there's all kinds of different stuff going on within the screen. So on your left hand side, we have all the different types of products that we have available on Navator.com and, and you're able to order. We have catalog products. Again, not everything's configurable on our site, um, but our catalog is um, you are available to order through there or contacting our customer service department that will help you and, and walk you through your orders. So one really neat tool that we have that we're going to start out with is our online pricing calculator. And this is a great way for you to actually to look for your different products and it'll give you a real time quote on the price and you can actually build and place the order. And we've built it what we think simple enough that you don't even need to understand print in order to actually place an order. So to kind of go along with the theme of some of the products that um, Adam and Tim have been talking about previously, what we'll take a look at are we'll go into signs. So I want to go into signs. I'm going to hit go. It's going to bring me up some more drop downs that I'm going to walk through. And I'm going to look for what I want. Okay, I'm going to want a full color, um, full color outdoor sign. So within this, then I can take a plastic card. Um, we have metal signs, A-frame boards, magnetic signs, metal, um, full color metal signs. So I'm going to go with the A-frame since again we've talked about those previously, and we can go with the A-frame holder with the corrugated signs. You can order just the A-frame itself or you can order just the replacement corrugated as we talked about earlier, how it's replaceable and you can um, interchangeable. So I'll go in and I'm gonna pick this out. And again, we have the quantity of one and you have your price. And in real time, if I want a quantity of four, it's gonna change that price and it's gonna show you what we have here. And you can also get an estimate on shipping based on where you're, where you're shipping the product, whether that's back to your office or your location, or you want us to drop ship it to your customer direct, we can do all of the above. And again, if I hit click on start your order, we'll jump over to an online template, which will allow you to upload your artwork. And again, all of these templates are downloadable as well. So then you can give that to your graphic designer or to your team so they can build that artwork before you come and place the order. So once you have that information, you pop all that in, you can either build it real simple. I mean, we can typeset it or you can upload your own artwork as well. So there's a couple different options that you can do um, in order to get your artwork to us. And then once you go through that, it'll give you an option for an online proof, a PDF proof, or you can email it to your customer, you can email it to yourself um, and to get approval, and then you can come back and actually officially place the order all within Navator.com. Another great tool that Navator.com offers that a lot of people kind of forget about, and it kind of gets lost, is our help and resources. And under help and resources, there's all kinds of different information that we're going to provide, anything from blogs to different news, Again, download catalogs, place order for marketing materials or catalogs. But a big, a nice area to look at is our sales and marketing tools. Again, we have a, a large assortment of sales sheets that are branded or unbranded that you can use within your company itself. Um, everything from, again, what we're talking about today, we have some comeback solutions. So we actually have brochures made up, a virtual brochure that you can go and download any one of these 
Um, again, so we're talking about dining out. I'll click on that. You can go ahead and download this template. As soon as it loads, sorry about that. So when you can download those, again, it gives you an option on the bottom where you can actually personalize it as well. So really, this is kind of some of this uh, mm -hmm. some of the screens that we were just looking at throughout the throughout the webinar that we've provided that you now have a hard copy for, and you can again create a, a, a pamphlet or a brochure or whatever you want to do with that information. Again, so we do have ten different verticals that we have these set up for, and we're going to continue our webinar series and kind of cover more and more of these. And then we also have a bonus, which is a durable versus disposable. Again, because we do we brought on some synthetic stocks that allow you to do a little bit different things with again like it that you can clean it um, opposed to having just a natural paper you throw water on it you're going to ruin the print and ruin the product itself again all of our comeback solution webinars are posted in under this section as well so again if you want to come back and watch us all again you can um, if you want to download the actual slideshow itself so you can go through it at your own pace you can do that as well um, and on top of all the covid related and all of the comeback solution products we have again we still have our vertical markets and we have our sales sheet. So if I go into the different vertical market kits, again, we have construction, education, financial, healthcare. So it's not just specific to what we're talking about today. We're trying to cover as many different verticals as we can. And again, within those, you're gonna find sales sheets that are gonna assist you in, in selling different products. Again, under stationary sales sheets, I mean, if you just look at all the different sales sheets that we have provided for you, again, unbranded or brandable. LabelWorks has some different options, NSP has some options, and again, FolderWorks does as well. So again, it's a great place for you to check out um, and to take a take a peek and just play around. If you have any questions, just you know, reach out to customer service and we'll be able to help you out in regard to that. So it looks like we have a couple minutes left. Um, so we're going to open it up to questions. So Stephanie will jump on, and I think some questions were coming through the chat, um, and so she'll go ahead and, and and cover those. All right, hi guys. So you were keeping me busy and hopping with the questions, so that was great. <laughs> Um, all right, so we had a lot of questions around like outdoor kind of um, floor ground signage. And so Tim, maybe you could kind of talk through those a little bit more specifically. Um, but they're asking about like the ground stencils, um, you know, how if we have any paint recommendations, um, I'm not sure that we do and we can always provide that afterwards as well. Um, and then floor decals, like whether they work on wood um, decking, for example, sidewalks, um, uh, and if there, if we have any aluminum backing, which I don't think we do, um, and lamination. So Tim, that's kind of a big question, but I combined them all for you to talk about outdoor um, ground signage. Yep. So, um, so floor graphics can be used on a variety of uh, surfaces. So I know that we have typically used ours on outdoor on the sidewalks, on concrete, and on wood. Yes, they do work on wood as well. Um, carpets, um, but it has to be more of a Berber. It can't be the long shade carpet. So um, we can use um, a lot of our floor, floor graphics are good outdoors for um, up to, um, you know, three months. But um, that, that, again, that depends if it's, uh, you know, um, if it's under like a, an awning or, or things like that protected from above, it will last a lot longer but short term um, for sure. So uh, yes, they come in a variety. There's some different materials. I know that we're looking into some uh, floor graphics that have a laminate over the top for longer lasting use. Um, so that's um, something that um, can be discussed further if, if needed. So yeah, was there any other part of that I, I missed that uh, it was kind of a it was a big question. Um, I, I think that sounds good, but anybody out in the in the crew in the crowd there, if, if you have any other questions on um, floor graphics. No. OK. All right. Um, the other correct. The other question was um, on a frames and um, plastic and interchangeable versus chloroplast. You touched on it a little bit, but maybe give a little more information. Yep, so our A-frames, um, they are interchangeable for sure. Um, typically what we are using or what we have used as our standard is the four millimeter coral plast. They seem to work 
um, very well with the hardware. Um, and they, they just slide right in. Uh, that's very easy to ch uh, change out the messaging. So, um, you know, that's just been our standard material. And, and again, it works very well with the hardware um, and the spacing as, as, it, um, as it slides in and out. So um, if people if somebody wants to use a different material, we can certainly look at that. But again, it's just we've always used the four millimeter as it just works best with the um, with the hardware and also the four millimeter works great because for long-term outdoor use that that plastic is good um, against the elements okay great um and one correction we also had was that we do make face masks um we do make them um we provide them so um they are orderable on navator.com as well so we um accidentally said that a little bit backwards um but now you know the right information um we also um, had we did have a question on paint for the um, for the stencils, Tim, and I'm not sure if you have anything specific off the top of your head. I know nope. we did a lot of testing. Yeah, um, so I'm not familiar with the paints. I know for us from a stencil standpoint, um, what we could do is uh, is put together like a, a, a material such as a like a, a styrene or something like a, a 20 mil styrene. That's something that you can place down. And then if you, you know, and use as a, as a marker or a guide um, and such. Um, but I, as from a painting standpoint, that's um, something I'm unfamiliar with. And I know that we've never um, really got into that. Right, so, right. Yeah. Okay, I'll figure out the some of the testing and maybe we have some direction and we will put that into the slides that will come out later today for the group. Okay, I think Deb was um, having some of those questions. Okay, um, is there, I know we're one minute over, if there's any other questions out there. Um, Maureen is asking, are the floor graphics UI 410? Um, that it does some cleaners. Um, Tim, maybe you wanna talk about how ours um, are washable and kind of what we've done there. Yeah, so any, um, so we, the typical um, is an eight, the material that we use is a typical eight mil vinyl. Um, now it is going to stand up to some cleaning um, and some, it, like if you run a vacuum over it, um, it will probably last, you know, a, a you know, it's not going to, any repeated use of cleaners or vacuuming is obviously going to make it break down much faster. So um, yeah. again, as, as we talk about floor graphics and we go into um, some materials that can have a laminate over it, um, our eight mil vinyl does not, but there are some in the um, out there uh, that our uh, suppliers use where we can put a laminate over. Those will last um, a lot longer with um, both in terms of vacuuming and with cleaners. But um, any repeated use of cleaners or vacuuming is obviously going to make the material break down uh, much faster. So, gotcha. Okay, thank you. And then the last question was around digital flipbooks, and I know Mark touched on that after the question was asked. So, yes, we do have digital flipbooks of all of these materials and all of the webinars. Um, later today, we will come out with the recording, so we'll share that with you. Um, the last one I was just going to um, add is because you guys have um, lots of questions around the floor graphics, you might be interested in particular in our durable versus disposable booklet. And that kind of lines up what might be kind of on the cheaper budget end versus a little bit longer lasting. Um, and we go through four different product categories. So you might be interested in that um, to be able to share with your customers as well. All right, Mark, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Stephanie and Tim. Okay, so just the last thing, I know that we're a little bit over on time, but again, we did, you, you should all receive a survey um, that if you join the meeting, um, we would really appreciate anybody to fill that out and get that back to us. Again, your feedback is super, super appreciated. So again, if you have time, please make sure you fill out that survey and send it back to us. And if you have any other questions or any concerns, um, you can definitely give me, contact me directly Again, my information should come up on the screen here in just a second as I'm lagging here. Otherwise, just contact our customer service departments as well. And again, my email is here at mccrawl at navator.com. And again, I may not have the answer for you, but I'll make sure that I find somebody who does. So again, thank you all for joining today and look forward to some more webinar series that will continue very soon. So thank you. Thank you.